Yo, what's really good you guys? Good seeing you again. And I just want to start this video off with saying a big thank you to all my new subscribers, everybody who actually likes my content. I am working on being better, promise me, and making better content and just you know sharing my, my world to you guys. And if you like it and you want to subscribe, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. As long as you Give me the passion and the effort to just keep making videos, you know. To all my 75 new subscribers, shout you out, give you a big thumbs up, and I just want to say thank you, honestly. And I know it's not a lot, maybe you guys have more, but for me, as a starting YouTuber, it means the world to me. Do what you love, follow your dreams, and don't let anybody, anybody, take that away from you, okay? What's up, mama? How are you? No, 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 no. How's my mama? How's the mama show the back? How's the omega of the back? It's about us right now, girl. Where you going? It's about us right now, girl. Where you going? I'm with you. What's up, you guys? Just landed here in Pioneer Town, California. This town was built in 1946. And they have like a movie set kind of thing right behind me, so check it out but this is not our final destination so just an adventure I've always wanted to ride one of those so back in the 40s this was the place but I got shot at ghost those two little babies there I sure uh, in July <laughs> town um, takes you back to the western times and perfect weather here in the fall late fall early winter 65 degrees I think it's perfect and yeah just get out of your city more travel to any nearby desert mountain and explore the world because that's what it's here for don't just stay in one spot all your life so that's my advice for right now and yeah, see you guys on the next clip. What's up, you guys? Just got to the Airbnb pad out here in Yucca Valley. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, what's good, you guys? We're here in Yucca Valley, California, and we're, this is my Airbnb house. Come inside and check it out. Let's go. So you're gonna start with the front of the house. Got a little cactuses here and there. The property goes as far as the eye can see. And that's pretty fucking cool. Over here. Entering the house. First thing you're gonna see is the kitchen. Oh, kitchen to the left. Pretty cool kitchen, everything you need. 
dining room right here to the right. And this is where all the expensive drinks are held. And your health patron, hopefully enough about that. And then your Jägermeister. This is the sala, aka the living room. We got the couches, TV, Christmas tree, and there's a projector for movies and a fireplace. But we don't know how to use that, so we're not gonna use that. A view of the patio, we'll get to it later. This right here is the office room, I think. Got the Apple computer there, your little couch here, and there's a little scenic of what the outside looks like, the backyard, I guess. Moving along, one bedroom here. Nice little comfortable bed. They also have a view to the backyard, which I think is cool. Yeah, nice. Office room, living room, half a bathroom in here. Not much to see. This is the master bedroom. Or as the owner likes to call it, the gangbang room. I don't know why, but you got your little mirror slash chair right here. Got these wallpapers, I saw these at Ross. <laughs> the master bedroom, I mean the master bed here. The TV with the soft touch. And the master bathroom, pretty cool. This is the bathtub and that's the shower head. Uh, might as well go to the backyard. Got a pool. Got a big old fireplace. There used to be a tree right there, but now there isn't. section and everything here that's gated is her property so there's coyotes out here and she warned us about that and there come our friends over there right, let's go to the game room real quick oh the patio patio here connects to the kitchen the, li the living room and the master bedroom they have lights that look there are solar charts, so at night they automatically come on. And a line wire found right there, but it doesn't work. And then, the light, the game room. The game room, what's up? Take you guys long enough. I was just doing this MTV crib shit. What's up, Aiden? <laughs> How are you? Cooking some turkey burgers right now. Chef Michael right there. Beatty. Celebrating this girl's birthday early. And we're about to take a shot. <laughs> 20 days early. <laughs> I don't know if the owner minds, but we're about to take a shot of Patrona Yeho. Personal favorite right there. Shot glasses. And yeah. Got the turkey burgers, well, avocado, turkey burgers, shot glasses. That's what we're gonna drink to, shot glasses. God bless to everybody. Hope everybody has a safe and fun day. Nice weekend. And bless you guys with food, shelter, and love. All right. All right, you guys. Oh, you gotta stand up right here. For a fun, safe, Exciting weekend, hope to everybody, and I wish you guys the best of luck. Salud. Salud. Woo! Look at the face. <laughs> Good? Gotta kick it in the patio. The world's hours. <laughs> Haven't been on a bike in years. But yeah, this house is amazing. I recommend you guys just try Airbnb. You meet amazing people. The owner of the house, she was lovely. And shit. Woo! 
see the whole deal with my right hand, but my left hand has a front brake, and you know what happens when you press on the front brake? Nothing good. But like I was saying, do whatever your heart tells you to do. And I mean literally, if your body feels like it needs to do exercise today, go do exercise. If your body feels like it wants to go away from the city, try and go away from the city. It doesn't even have to be that far. You just gotta travel. You know, there's places in LA, like where I'm from, that I haven't even been to. So I need to scratch them off my list, you know? And I'm gonna show you guys this rock that me and the other Michael just climbed in a pretty good view now that the sunset's going. So check out this rock. I climbed all the way up there. It's probably about 40, 40 feet high from here up, maybe 50. Sunset so coming from that angle, you just see So it's times like these where you just appreciate life and you just see life in a different way. You grow a little bit intellectually, spiritually, and you learn from it. So I know life is a nonstop learning experience, teacher, whatever you want to call it. And I'm pretty sure you guys can learn from a lot from it too. So hope you guys are enjoying this video so far and it's been an amazing day couldn't ask for more blessed and remember that health is very important make that your priority try to make it your priority because without health you can't enjoy none of this so yeah i'm gonna let you guys go i'm gonna continue riding my bike let me try to do a left hand let's go off-roading real quick I forgot how fun spike are. Bikes are. Oh shit. Yeah, as simple as riding a bike on the beach and stuff, you'll have fun, trust me. If your body is active, you're gonna have fun no matter what. So remember that. And I'll see you guys on the next one. <laughs>better than this got the fire amazing fire going on about to do some s'mores and just enjoy the heat because it's pretty cold out here um that's life see you guys maybe later maybe tomorrow have a good day tonight tacos homemade style oh a little bit of Ciroc Sprite 
pineapple, lemons, hot ass sauce, uh, café, poison, guacamole, and picado. What's good, you guys? <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay, Cuddy in the background. Can't wait for the new album to drop. But anyways, good morning to everybody. Uh, waking up, or waking up in Yucca Valley, California, with this view right here. Look at this. As far as the eye can see, nothing but desert. And yeah, and we're gonna eat you like you for breakfast right now. So beautiful morning. Feels amazing waking up somewhere else, so somewhere different, somewhere new, with no buildings around you. I don't know. Makes you feel some type of way. All right, guys. See you guys in the next clip. About to do a really quick workout, just to get some blood flowing this morning and sweat a little bit. Work out, bro. <laughs> What's up you guys? We're here in Yucca Valley. Woke up today to this beautiful home. Thank you to Sheila for letting us stay here through Airbnb. Amazing house. Made a lot of memories in one night. And now we're going to explore the rest, of, the rest of the desert. Beautiful view up here. And as you guys can see in the video, nature is where it's at. So if you guys have time or money to spend and invest, invest in traveling i really recommend that so now we're just gonna try to find another place maybe joshua tree or maybe this um christ park with a bunch of statues of priests i think and just take pictures and videos so the vlog is not over i'll see you guys in the next clip hope it doesn't break What's up you guys? So we found this cool location called Desert Christ Park here in Yucca Valley, California. And as you can see behind me, there's statues of apostles and Jesus Christ. And I think it's just a kind of a landmark just to give tribute to all the people who believed in Christ at, in that time and place. So um, the feeling of this place is actually peaceful. Uh, it's kind of hard to describe, and we're gonna walk around and actually just explore a little more. So let's go. Got this beautiful view here. I don't know if they did that on purpose, if she fell, or this guy's over here super thinkative. And I don't know if that's Jesus or not, but he's praying. So I made it to the top, and look at this, what, look at this view.
now going to go back down and check out the rest of the statues down here. Uh, these stairs are pretty steep. He's way up there. Praying. Something we should do more daily, you guys. So apparently, you guys, 1951 was when they first built statue of Jesus Christ. And this is 2015. 65 years. Crazy. Jesus Christ and all his apostles and uh, I don't know it's just it's, it's almost speechless to just be here and seeing this statue just kind of just gets to my heart and makes me think twice about the life I lived and the actions I do so you guys ever just get a chance to just open up and just clear your mind a bit and pray you guys will feel a lot better so try and just be a good person at all times and have an open heart at all times life goes on and the day will come when we pass away we'll have to be judged so when that day comes, 